Hello! In this video, I'm going to tell you about how we make voice, how we produce voicing. Now, you already know uh, from the International Phonetic Alphabet that all speech sounds are classified in the IPA chart according to voicing, place of articulation, and manner of articulation. So in most slots in the IPA chart, you're going to find two sounds, one voiced and one voiceless. But what is voice? Voice, quite simply, is the sound that we make in our throat or specifically the sound we make with our vocal folds, which are in the larynx here. So not all sounds are voice. For example, a clap is not voice, but also a sound that you make, for example, with your tongue is also not voice. But when you say, Ah, uh, that's when the sound is made here. That is voice. So, as you may have already noticed, this um, could be singing voice, but it can also be a vowel. Uh, all vowels, in fact, are produced using voice. There are also consonants that we make with voice. For example, m or z. These sounds are voiced because you make them with voice. But some consonants are produced without voice using just the rest of your vocal tract. For example, or sh, sh. And we call them voiceless because there is no voice produced. There is a sound, but it's not voice. So how do we produce voice? We make voice in our larynx. The larynx is the bit located here. The little bit that sticks out in men, but not in women. This is your larynx. And the larynx is sort of a gate or a door to your lungs. So when you want to let the air in, you have to open your larynx. And when you are eating, you don't want any food to get into your lungs. So you close that door. You close the larynx. How do you do that? You can see here on the right, you can see where the larynx is and what it generally looks like. And here on the left, you can see what it looks like inside. So you see these are the vocal folds and this is what actually closes and opens in order to let the air in or in order to keep the food from entering the lungs. When you swallow, you close the larynx. And so the food goes in your stomach and not into your lungs, which would be very dangerous. So these are the vocal folds and they protect the entrance to the trachea, which is the pipe, the windpipe, where the air goes through to get to the lungs. So the larynx, with its properties of a gateway, it has three main functions. 
Well, first of all, it's opening and closing. And opening is important for breathing. So when you want to breathe the air in or out, you open your larynx and the air just moves in and out freely. When the larynx is closed, it protects the trachea, it protects the lungs, so no air goes in. Um, you can also close your larynx to stop the air from coming out of your lungs. And this way you can hold your breath without closing your mouth. So you can stop, uh, you can hold your breath by doing this, but you can also hold your breath without closing your mouth. <sighs> and finally, the third function of the larynx, and the one that we are most interested in in phonetics, is producing voice. And this happens not with completely open larynx and not in, with completely closed, but when the vocal folds are slightly open, just a little bit open. And this is how we make voice. When the vocal folds are slightly open and the air goes through, they start moving. And that's what makes the voice. So the right amount of air coming out and the right amount of space between the vocal folds makes it possible for us to create voice. So that distance between the vocal folds is a very important thing for studying speech. So we call, it has its own name. We call it the glottis. So we have the larynx, which is the part of the body here made of cartilage. Inside there are vocal folds which close and open and the space between the vocal folds we call the glottis. Now the larynx is very high in the throat when you are born. So this is why the sounds that newborns and babies make sounds very different. If you've ever heard a newborn cry, you know that the sound is very different than a grown-up crying or even a five-year-old child crying. It begins to, the larynx begins to move down uh, when the babies are around three months old. And that's also when the sounds they make start changing and they start sounding more like speech sounds, more like voice. And then it keeps on moving down until you are four years old. Um, and then in women, it stays the same. But in men, it then starts going down again when they reach puberty. So when they're teenagers. And if you've ever heard a teenage boy speak like this, when the voice changes from a boy's voice to a man's voice, this is what happens. It's because the larynx is moving downwards. So you can see that the position of the larynx, the anatomy of the larynx, what is happening there, this is essential for the voice we produce and the speech we produce as a consequence. In the next video, I will tell you more about voiced and voiceless sounds and exactly what happens with the vocal folds for all of them. But before you watch that, please um, visit the link in the description of this video to see a real recording of vocal folds in action. Thank you.